hello everyone in this video i am going to teach you what is mining and how to do that on the basic blockchain we created hey everyone this is kamran i am a full stack blockchain developer and in this series of videos i am going to teach you how you can build your own blockchain and how you can develop dApps on these blockchains we created this blockchain in which we can add blocks and also added a method to validate the blockchain. We discussed the way to validate the blockchain but now the question is if anyone can add block and that's this easy so anyone can add any number of blocks to the chain but that's not the scenario. But how exactly we decide who can add blocks to the blockchain? That's where consensus mechanism comes into picture. Basically, consensus mechanism is a method to decide who can add blocks to the blockchain. There is basically two kinds of mechanism, proof of work and proof of stake. And it can be combination of both. In this video, we will be talking about proof of work, where user have to do some work to prove he is capable of adding a block. Proof of work is also referred as mining in the blockchain world. In Bitcoin, we have a proof of work consensus mechanism and miner have to generate hash which should contain x numbers of zeros at the start of its hash. So in order to create such hash, we have to do a lot of computational work and that needs a lot of electricity. Miners keep on generating hashes and when they get a required hash pattern, then that block can be added to the blockchain. So we are going to implement similar mechanism in our small blockchain as well. So let's get started. Now in our blockchain, in the block class, till now we were creating this hash directly and now we have to add a method which can create a hash according to the required terms. So let's create that method. So we will call this method as mine the block, mine the block. In this we are simply going to create hashes and when we are going to get the desired output of the hash, we are going to take that hash and Put it in the block so for the beginning we are going to take the hash which contains two zeros at the beginning of it so create a variable name as hash and that we are going to start with a null or an empty string here we are going to start a while loop and inside this we are going to say hash dot substring and we are going to take the first two letter of the string which will be uh, 0 comma 2 and then we are going to compare that with a string of two length which contains only zeros so that we can generate using array so i'm going to say array and into that we am going to say three and i'm going to join that with zeros so unless this condition is met i'm simply going to generate hashes again and again so this will be this dot create hash so here instead of uh, passing this to directly i am going to pass this as a parameter basically the length of uh, zeros which we compare is known as difficulty so i am going to pass this difficulty from here to here and i can pass this here that will be plus 12. so now if we go to this method of create hash here we are passing this data and every time we are going to pass this data, it will generate the same hash. So we have to introduce some change into the data so that it can produce new hashes every time. So for that, what we are going to add, we are going to add a new variable into this, which we can name as change. And we can start this as zero. And then we can pass this change. Uh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake in the spelling. So uh, change and this I'm going to pass into cryptic string and then this change we have to update every time we are looping over the while loop so this while loop will end once we get the hash and then that hash we are going to add into our hash so this will be this hash is equals to hash so this is a simple method in which we are going to pass the difficulty and then we are going to generate the hash according to that and this mine block will be called once we are going to add the block into the blockchain so here at this place where we are adding a hash we are going to call that method and we don't have to apply this we are actually we are already adding that value into hash in this function only so from here we have to pass the difficulty as well and for the start i'm going to just pass that as a two now let's add some console as well to see the hash so we can add mining done and we can add a hash over here now let's remove this change of the data for now now just simply log this coin which is console log kwk coin now let's try to run this 
so here we can see that mine like blo blocks are mine first block second block and third block all blocks are mined over here and we can see all the hashes contains two zeros at the beginning so this hash also have two zeros and here also we have two zero and also here two zero so generating two zero at the start will take less time as compared to if you are going to increase the difficulty that will take more and more time let's try to increase that number of zero so here instead of two we are going to pass four and that will generate a hashes which contains four zeros at the start of that hash again i will run the script and now you can see that it took a little more time when, than before so here you can simply see that we have four zeros at the beginning of the hashes we can now further increase this value and try to run so now if i run you can see that first block is mine and we are still waiting on the second yeah second one is done and the third one and and you have to keep in mind that not every block will take exactly same time there can be possibility that the first block can get that hash earlier than the second block i hope you understood the uh, concept of mining in this so bitcoin also applies the same kind of mechanism and you can also add the same mechanism in your own blockchain if you like the content of the video i will request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do share my videos with your friends so that they can get the idea of blockchain so see you in the next video where you can learn more cool stuffs about blockchain happy coding everyone